Good morning and happy Wednesday. This is Chase Sorensen from the Storm Tracker 4 Weather Center, and here is a look at what we are tracking for today. Uh, clouds are going to decrease uh, throughout the morning, but still expect a mix of sun and high clouds this afternoon, and it's also staying a little bit below normal for this afternoon. Highs only pushing into the low 70s, and that's for the warmest spots. Typically, we should be in the upper 70s this time of year, and we're going to get much closer to that, especially as we head into tomorrow. A ridge of high pressure is going to build, and that will start to push our highs above normal. Uh, but it doesn't last colder with showers by Sunday, so I'll have those details coming up. Uh, for your future tracker today, I know it shows a little bit of rainfall down near Douglas, but don't expect much in the way of accumulation. Uh, for the rest of us, we're staying dry with a little bit of cloud cover. That's the case pretty much through the afternoon. I know it looks pretty busy across Cochise and Santa Cruz County. Uh, light sprinkles, if anything, and this is all thanks to that system that is still sticking around over the state that has been with us since this past Thursday. That's finally going to head out of here by tonight, and that's why temperatures are going to start to warm up tomorrow. For the rainfall totals, maybe one hundredth of an inch in Nogales, but again, don't expect much. Places like Sierra Vista and Douglas staying on the dry side. Uh, high temps today mainly in the 60s and 70s, again below normal for this time of year. As we head to the south and east, it looks like temperatures mainly in the 60s and low 70s. Overnight lows tonight, 30s and 40s, so staying on the cold side. Uh, for our next weather maker, this area of low pressure is heading out of here, so we can say goodbye to that finally. A ridge of high pressure builds as we head towards tomorrow, and that's going to push our highs into the low 80s as early as tomorrow with more of the same on Friday and Saturday. But as you can see, that's not going to last very long. We have our new weather maker. This one is arriving from the Pacific Northwest by the end of the weekend, and that's expected to bring some scattered showers, colder temperatures and even some gusty wind too. This rainfall map is going to change around quite a bit as we approach, but right now it looks like we could see anywhere from trace amounts to about a quarter of an inch. So stay tuned for more details and be sure to tune in at noon today for the latest update.